Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, polygon uh, A, B, C, D, E, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, its uh, side length uh, A, E is uh, 3 units, its side length uh, C, D, 4 units, whereas uh, its uh, side length uh, B, C is 5 units. And moreover, uh, this uh, side length uh, A, B is uh, X units. And furthermore, uh, this uh, A, E length uh, is equal to this uh, D, E length. And finally, all uh, these uh, angles uh, are 90 degrees each. And now our task is uh, to find the value of uh, X. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. We can see that this uh, side length uh, AE is uh, 3 units. So therefore, uh, this side length uh, DE is going to be 3 units as well. And if we connect uh, these two points uh, C and uh, E, then we get this uh, right triangle uh, CDE. And now let's recall the Pythagorean triplets, uh, 3, 4, and 5. Since this side length is uh, 3, this side length is 4. So our this high party news uh, has got to be 5 units. However, this strategy is not going to help us. So therefore, we are going to think uh, outside the box. So therefore, we are going to draw some auxiliary lines. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have created uh, this... Uh, line uh, FC uh, that is equal to this uh, line uh, ED and both of them are uh, parallel. So therefore if this is uh, 3 units uh, then this uh, FC length is going to be 3 units as well. And likewise uh, this segment uh, EF is equal to this segment uh, CD and both of them uh, are parallel as well. So therefore, if this segment is 4, then this EF segment is going to be 4 units uh, as well. And keep in mind that uh, these points uh, B, C, and F uh, are collinear. And in this uh, next step, I have connected uh, these points uh, B and uh, E. And as a result, we are ended up with this uh, right triangle uh, EFB. And now we are going to focus once again on this uh, right triangle uh, EFB and we know that this uh, side length uh, FB is going to be 3 plus 5 is going to give us uh, 8 units and this uh, side length uh, EF uh, is 4 and now we are going to calculate its hypotenuse uh, EB so therefore we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle and here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. And I'm going to label uh, this hypotenuse uh, as y. And other two legs are 8 uh, and 4. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, 4 square plus uh, 8 square is going to be equal to y square. Let's simplify. That is going to give us uh, 16 plus 64 equal to y square and if we add these left hand side our y square is going to be equal to 80 and I'm going to take the square root on both sides to undo this uh, square so therefore we can see this square and square root undo each other so y value turns out to be square root of uh, 80 so therefore our this y value turns out to be square root of uh, 80 and here's our next step now we are going to focus on this uh, right triangle uh, eab and we are going to apply the pythagorean theorem on this triangle uh, as well and here's our pythagorean theorem once again a square plus b square equal to c square and in our case our hypotenuse is square root of uh, 80 and our two other legs are uh, 3 and uh, x so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, x uh, square plus uh, 3 square equals to 
square root of 80 whole square and now we can see this square and square root they undo each other so therefore uh, our this uh, x square plus uh, 3 square is going to give us uh, 9 equals to 80 on the right hand side and now we are going to subtract uh, 9 from both uh, sides so therefore this 9 and negative 9 they are gone x square value turns out to be 71 on the right hand side and now i am going to undo this square by taking square root uh, on this side and the right hand side as well and here square and square root they undo each other so therefore our x value turns out to be positive or negative square root of 71 and since we know that x uh, represents the side length so therefore uh, this uh, negative value is not feasible so therefore uh, our only valid uh, value of x is going to be square root of uh, 71 and in terms of decimal x is going to be approximately equal to 8.43 units so therefore our this uh, x value turns out to be equal to square root of uh, 71 uh, units so thus our x value turns out to be square root of uh, 71 units and that's going to be approximately equal to 8.43 units as well and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye